Magandang araw sa inyo mga bata. Isa na namang lesson sa mathematics ang ituturo ko sa inyo. Para sa araw na ito, ang topic na ituturo ko ay adding and subtracting fractions and mixed fractions. Ang una kong ituturo sa inyo ay ang pag-a-add ng fraction with mixed fraction. Basahin na natin ang problem number 1. Lael won a bag of candies from a birthday party. It weighs 4 and 5 twelfth gram. While her cousin Dale got 5 and 1 third grams. When they reached home, they added all their candies in a clear container. How much candies did the two have in all? Before natin isolve ang ating problem, meron tayo ulit mga guide questions na kailangan, kailangan natin sagutin para mag-arrive tayo sa final answer. So, these are our guide questions. What is asked? So, what is asked is the amount of candies Lael and Dale have in all. What are the given? So, the given are 4 and 5 twelfths gram of candies won by Lael and 5 and 1 third grams of candies that Dale got. What is the operation to be used? So in this type or in this particular word problem, we're going to use addition. What is the number sentence? So the number sentence is 4 and 5 twelfths plus 5 and 1 third. And what is the final answer? So ito na yung ating gagawin para makuha natin ang final answer. So meron tayong tatlong steps na kailangan sundin para may add natin mabuti yung ating mga fractions na given kanina. So, the first step is, we're going to align the fractions and compare the denominators. Kung siya ba ay dissimilar fraction or similar fraction. The second step is, we're going to find the least common denominator or the LCD. And we're going to rename the fractions as similar fractions. Kung siya ay dissimilar fraction. And for step 3, we're going to add the fractions. And we're going to write the whole number before the fraction sum. So, for step number 1, we're going to align our fractions. Pwede natin siyang i-align vertically or horizontally. So, this, ah, ganito ako mag-solve. I align them horizontally para mas madali kong makita yung ating denominator. So, sabi sa number 2, we're going to find the least common denominator kung siya ay dissimilar fractions. So, in this type of uh, or in this particular word problem, dissimilar fraction siya kasi ang denominator natin dito is 12 while dito is 3. So, sabi nga dito, we're going to find the least common denominator. Paano ba natin malalaman ang least common denominator? So, similar lang din siya sa pagkuhan ng least common multiple or common multiple or So, sabi sa ating first step is we have to align our two fractions. So, pwede mo siyang align vertically or horizontally. So, Uh, ginawa ko siyang ganito para makita ko yung ating dalawang denominator. So, no, siya ba ay similar or dissimilar fractions. So, in this uh, particular problem, ang ating denominators are dissimilar. That's why we're going to find the LCD and rename the fraction. Mamaya-maya yun. So, paano ba natin kunin ang LCD? Ang pagkuha ng LCD ng dissimilar fractions is just the same sa pagkuha ng LCM or the least common multiple. So, ila-write down lang natin ang dalawa nating denominators which are 12 and 3. Then, we're going to think of a number na pwedeng i-divide sa ating dalawang denominators. So, which is 3. So, 12 divided by 3 is 4. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, kapag ka wala na tayong uh, ibang de, uh, uh, fa uh, factor na pwedeng i-divide sa ating dalawang quotient, kukunin na natin silang lahat, yung ating unang factor and the rest. And we're going to multiply. And kung anong magiging sagot niya, that will be the least common denominator or our LCD. So, 3 times 4 is 12 times 1 equals 12. 12. So, ngayong nakuha na natin ang ating LCD ng ating dalawang fractions, Uh, ang gagawin naman natin para makapag-add tayo ng madali is we're going to regroup yung ating dalawang whole numbers. So, pag susunod rin na natin sila, magkasunod. So, we have 4 plus 5. Ihihiwalay na natin siya or sila sa ating mga fractions. Then, 
Ngayon, we're going to add, or we're going to rename, rather, our dissimilar fractions para maging similar fractions. So, paano ba yun? So, plus, we're going to write down our LCD, which is 12. Pag na-write down na natin ang ating LCD, ganito ang gagawin yung proseso. Our LCD divided by the first denominator, which is 12, times the numerator. So, times 5. So, now we have 12 divided by 12 times 5. Ganun din ang gagawin natin sa ating pangalawang fraction, which is, five thir uh, which is 1 third rather. So, 1 third na lang siya kasi in uh, kinuha na natin si 5, in-regroup na natin siya. So, same lang din ang ating gagawin. Our LCD, which is 12, divided by our denominator, which is 3, times our numerator, which is 1. Yan. The next, we have, pwede na nating evaluate on 4 plus 5. So, 4 plus 5 equals 9. Plus, 12 divided by 12 is 1 times 5 equals 5. Plus, 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 1 equals 4 over 12. Then, let's copy 9 plus, evaluate natin, 5 plus 4 equals 9 all over 12. And for our final answer, we have 9 plus 9, 12. So we have 9 and 9 over 12. Take note mga bata, minsan meron tayong, or nagkikame up tayo sa final answer na kailangan nating i-lowest term. Ano ba yung uh, titingnan natin para masabi natin siya ay pwede pang i-lowest term. Yung ating fraction which is 9 over 12. Titingnan nyo, si 9 and 12 ba, meron pa ba tayong pwedeng i-divide sa kanya? Or sa kanila pareho na number, aside from 1? So, tingnan natin. Let's try 3. We're going to divide 9 over 12 with 3. So, we have 9 divided by 3 is 3. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. So, meron pa ba sa 3 and over 4 maliban sa 1? So, wala na. So, we're going to get yung ating inilawest term na fraction and isasama natin syempre ang ating full number. And our final answer is La L and Dale have 9 and 3 fourths gram of candies in all. May naman titingnan natin ang example number 2 para naman sa Subtracting fractions and mixed fractions. La L arranged her reading books and magazines in the bookshelves. She filled two and two thirds of the bookshelves with her reading books and magazines. One fourth of the bookshelves has magazines. The question is, what part of the bookshelves has La L's reading books? Now we're going to answer our guide questions. The first guide question is. What is asked? So, what is asked is the part of the bookshelves La L has for reading books. Next one is what are they given? Two and two thirds of the bookshelves has her reading books and magazine. And one fourth of the bookshelves has magazines. What is the operation to be used? So, the operation to be used is um, subtraction. What is the number sentence? The number sentence is 2 and 2 thirds minus 1 fourth equals n. And what is the final answer? So ngayon naman, ituturo ko sa inyo ang subtraction ng fractions and mixed fractions para mag-arrive tayo sa ating final answer. Kagaya na sa addition, meron din tayong tatlong steps na dapat sundin sa pagsusubtract ng uh, fractions and mixed fractions. The first one is, again, we're going to align the fractions and compare the denominators kung siya ba ay similar or dissimilar fractions. For step number 2, kung siya ay dissimilar fractions, we're going to find the least common denominator or the LCD. 
and we're going to rename the given fractions as similar fractions. And for the last step, we're going to subtract the fractions. And we're going to write the whole number before the fraction difference. Kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, ini-align ulit natin yung ating given fractions. Ngayon, i-identify natin kung siya ba ay similar or dissimilar fractions. So, dito our denominator is 3, while dito our denominator is 4. So, siya ay dissimilar fractions. Again, we're going to get our LCD or the least common denominator. So, we have 3 and 4. So, isip tayo ng pwede natin i-divide kay 3 and 4. So, we have 1. 3 divided by 1 is 3. 4 divided by 1 is 4. So, naulit lang. Ibig sabihin, wala na pala tayong pwedeng i-divide maliban kay 1. So, our LCD is 1 times 3 times 4 is 12. So, ngayong nakuha na natin ang LCD, which is 12, i -re rename na natin ang ating dissimilar fractions para maging siyang similar fractions. Pero, i -re regroup ulit natin ang ating mga whole numbers. So, we have 2. And since walang whole number ang ating 1 fourth, we just simply write 2. And, i add natin siya sa magiging result pag pinag-subtract natin ang ating mga fractions. So, we have, again, write down our um, LCD. So, sa pag -re rename ng ating fractions, kagaya nung ginawa natin sa addition, ganun lang ulit. We have 12 divided by our denominator, which is 3. 12 divided by 3 times our numerator, which is 2. Minus, dahil subtraction tayo, 12 divided by 4 times ang ating numerator na 1. So, we have 2 plus 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 2 equals 8. Minus 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 1 equals 3. Over 12, yung ating um, LCD or yung ating common denominator na ngayon. So, we have to evaluate 8 minus 3. So, 8 minus 3 equals 5 over 12. And for our final answer, we have 2 and 5 over 12. Our final answer is 2 and 5 over 12 of Lael's bookshelves has reading books. Another lesson na naman sa mathematics, ang aking natalakay and hopefully natutunan ninyo mga bata. Maraming salamat sa patuloy na panonood at pagsuporta sa amin. Ipagpapatuloy pa namin ang paggawa ng ganitong mga video tutorials para sa inyo. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, All and LOYTC, at i-click ang notification bell para ma-notify kayo sa mga bagong i-upload naming videos. Maraming salamat!